Hello, it's me again, Dean from Dean Space, that place where I spend most of my time. Anyway, I want to thank you for showing up again. Thank you for dropping in. Hope you're enjoying the videos, especially this series. Uh, this would be day four on the Jesus Christ, the Hope of All tour. We could call it tour this time. Always have a different name. But today, day four, is why do we call him the hope of the world? Why do we call Jesus the hope of the world? Well, we call Jesus the hope of the world because he is. About the best reason I can think of. The Christmas story, which is not a story, it's actually an event that happened, clearly shows that the hope of the world, the hope of our universe, the hope of mankind, rests in Jesus Christ. How do we do that? Well, hope rang out at the birth of Christ, and it's shown in the events that occurred around Jesus' birth. What were they? Well, first of all, angels sang about hope. Jesus Christ in the manger was all about hope, causing Mary, Jesus' mother, to ponder on the future. Hope led the shepherds to the Bethlehem. Hope intrigued the Magi, not to return to the king the way they had come, but instead to return another way. The Christmas story is a story of hope as it describes Jesus Christ coming to earth where he is called by God, hope. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Hmm. That's the hope. So you see, in this world where mankind is born into sin, in a world that is so severely damaged by sin, there cannot be any other source of hope. There has to be a truth, an undeniable truth. And Jesus Christ is that truth undeniable truth. Some people think that we can educate ourselves into hope. Some people believe government giveaways can solve the problem and offer more hope. Some folks even think better laws can inspire or make better hope. So when we look at everything around us, it all cries out. No, it screams for some sort of of hope that cannot be manufactured by man, that cannot be thought up by computers. Even AI, artificial intelligence, can't bring hope. The only way hope can be is through Jesus Christ. Another way that we know Jesus Christ is our hope is that he is the only way that we can get to God. In the Bible, John 14, 6 says, quote, Jesus Christ said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ is the only way that things can return to the way God created them to be. The last reason that I'm listing in this devotional anyway for calling Jesus Christ the hope of the world is, it, it is that true life, abundant life, righteous life can only come through Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 10, verse 10, I quote, the thief comes not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they, that means you and us, may have life and that they, us, 
may have it more abundantly, end quote. Is that not hope? Of course it is. And that is Jesus Christ. How is he able to provide us with that type of hope? He came to bring us forgiveness from our sins, protection from the evil one, and to show us his power, wisdom, love, and that he can defeat death. So, we have hope today and for the future, but it all rests in Jesus Christ. So, we must remember that Jesus Christ's birth for us as mankind is the most important day in history and also the most important day in our present time and our future. If Jesus Christ had not come, there would be no hope for mankind. I hope you are enjoying this week's devotionals as much as I've been enjoying creating them. God bless you. I got to go. But I'm going to leave you with a few songs. I got three of them for today. They're on, you'll find the links in my description. Listen to them. Enjoy them. And be blessed by them. Just a quick reminder that if you liked what you saw on these videos and you'd like to see some more of this and some of the other videos that I've done, be, of course, go back in and check some of them as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share us with your friends. Uh, everything I do is, is, is family friendly. It's all, uh, it's all fun. And, you know, I do some with my grandkids. And you, yeah, you've seen some of them. Anyway, hope you enjoy everything you do see. But, hey, y'all come on back to see us again. Make sure you subscribe now. And, yep, I'm out of here. Before ending this video, I want to take a moment and thank all of our heroes. All of our armed forces out there protecting our country and helping to keep it free. To the veterans of this great nation, I say thank you. May God bless you and your families for the sacrifices you made for us. To our military who have passed on, I want to thank your families in remembrance of you and your service. We also want to thank those other heroes out there risking their lives daily, helping to keep us safe and protected. That would be our EMTs, firefighters, and law enforcement. Thank all of you for loaning us your heroes for a time. May God bless and keep you on your life's journey.